Hello friends, welcome to Choo Choo's Holiday. I'm jumping on here right quick. I had got some new Amsterdam acrylic pearl paints, set of six, and I've also been doodling this morning. Sorry, I had to go grab it. And as I started making this, it started out with just an upside down triangle. And as I started going, I thought, well, maybe I could make this into something that could pass on the Makers Creative Collab for the month of March. And if you haven't been over to their Facebook group, it's Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist. And each month they post... Um, things that you can get involved in. So creative collabs, for example, they have um, colors of the month. Usually, this year it's three colors and then they give you three things, that, three colors that you can use. So for example, this month is purple, raspberry, and lime green. And then you always have the option of using black or white or one metallic. So, I think what I, I want to do, first I want to test out these Amsterdam acrylic pearl paints. I put the first three on here already. So this one is the pearl yellow. They all look white to me. So if you're seeing white. Uh, this one is pearl white. This one is pearl, pearl red. I don't have my glasses on. Okay, and then this one is pearl blue. And this is pearl violet. And then we have pearl green. Okay, I'm going to set these back in here in the order that I have them laid out on the plate. Just so if we can tell a difference when we roll them out. Oh my gosh, I just had it in my hand. Here we go. Okay, so the first one is pearl yellow, right? And to me, it all looks... Oh, here we go. Now they're starting to look a little different. And I probably just mixed them all together, so I'm probably defeating my whole... I really wonder if we should be pulling this on a different color. I have some cardstock here. How about we try this purple and see what happens. So, the reason why I brought in the doodling is because as I was sitting there doodling, some of the prompts for March for Creative Collab is rainbow, and I drew some daffodils. Um, teacup is one, so I am thinking about making this neck-looking thing into a teacup. And then I'll have to find the other two, because I can't remember what they are off the top of my head. Okay, so we're going to do this first. We're going to see how this comes out. But back to this, I was thinking that... I could make a copy. I haven't finished coloring it in yet, and I'm not sure that everyone wants to sit around and watch that be colored in. But I could make a copy and then try to jelly print on it. All right, let's see what we have here. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is better as a...
top coat because I can't see that it'll show up really well on white. I'll tell you what, let's try this. We will. I'm going to use one of the. Colors that are in this month's color collab, lime green. Oh, Layla, where where you going? Don't step on it. I've got something on my jelly plate. Uh, that's because it's on the. Still didn't get it. Okay, I'll do it with that. Okay, what do I have over here? Do I have anything over here? I could try this. Sorry guys, I'm trying to see if I have anything here within reach that we could use. I didn't plan for this, can you tell? Pulling stuff that I have around me. Okay, we're gonna pull that up, we're gonna pull that up. I think we need to take one of these pearls. Um, we'll try the pearl blue. So earlier I lose my train of thought, but now that I'm seeing these, I'm thinking that they might work better as like a final touch to a project so the very last top layer just to give it sparkle and i probably shouldn't have started using this as a brayer off because if you can see some of the color was starting to show up and depending on how you look at it it kind of shifts Okay, so we are gonna see what we got here. Okay, let's see if we can, oh, it's not ready yet. It 
It honestly you could probably leave this on there longer and get a better pull. Let's see, so I'm gonna use this blue violet like a purple. Actually, I'm gonna use this color. We get the raspberry in there we would have all three colors all three colors from and this one's actually raspberry flash all three colors from the makers of mixed media and art color combo for the month I'm just trying to get enough on there so that it's still wet. Okay, we're going to do it right here on top of the screen. And maybe we do need to Okay, I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to go make a copy of this, even though I'm already starting to get stuff all over it. Okay, let me go make a copy. I'll be right back. Okay, I made a copy while this was drying. I didn't, really wasn't, didn't think this out, wasn't thinking about all of this coming on the sides. But that's okay. We're just going to be playing with this anyway. But before we do that... I was wanting, I was going to on the other one, and um, I'm in too much of big of a hurry because I am trying to film this so I can get ready for dinner and all the other things that happen in the evening time. So I am trying to make um sorry. I'm trying to walk and talk again. A teacup. Because that is one of the March collage prompts. I'm going to call it Creative Collab for makers, mix, mix, makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist. And one thing that I really like about that group is they're pretty open to and supportive to anybody that just likes to create. And at the end of the day, that is what it, exactly what it is for me. I mean, this is not my norm. I would say norm is probably landscape. But I also would say that I never had time to play with things until recently. Oops, sorry. I was watching videos too. Okay, so what we're going to do is first we're going to pull this. And then we are going to see if we can play with changing this up some. I almost feel like maybe I should go over it in like 
one of my darker charcoal pencils go through go over all of it and see if I can make a print but I could always do that later make another copy oops you see that <laughs> okay here's what we got from this pull actually not bad I kind of like that I like the grungy way it looks over here I, if I turn it a certain way, I can see a little bit of shimmer, but not near as much as I thought. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and I also, also need to make some artist trading, artist trading co uh, coins, not cards. So maybe I could put some cardstock on the back of this and this could be the start of a coin. I had started making some, really should have been videotaping this one. I've started some and with this one, I was almost thinking about trying to make a beach scene. All of these are jelly prints in the black background that I've taken and put on cardstock. But now I want to take it a step further. I messed this one up. Uh, take it a step further and add to them like I did this one. I want to do something different. When I look at artist trading cards and several people have been posting them in some of the face group, Facebook groups that I'm in, I want to be different. A lot of them are still going down the vintage road and that's okay i like that for journals i think what it is is i haven't been very inspired lately and with the whole chest pain thing and going to the doctor um it's been really hard to get back in the groove so today when i was doodling that was just what it was it was like don't even think about it just let yourself go let's see where this goes what comes out of it and then i started talking about thinking about the prompts and that's where it came in with the rainbow the teacup and the bath okay so we are going to get ready to play on this a little bit i don't think Oh, have I never opened this? Oh, maybe not. Nope. I probably have a million different blacks open, but all different brands. I would like to see if I could pull this as a print. I don't know if that's going to work or not. But again, it is only a copy. So I'm going to put a thin layer of black, and that's probably too thin. Okay, we're going to get a nice thin layer on here. see yeah we'll go ahead and stick that here since we have it and then i'll cut and have another piece over here then i'm going to take this these off and it may not print I mean it may not make a print but 
but we are going to try at least one. Watch it be only the... Oh, so all we managed to do was cover up the picture totally. <laughs> okay, so there's one experiment. Uh, I've been wanting to try this Dragonfly Glaze. Oh, I see the sparkle. Can you see the sparkle on camera? I have to show this to you guys. Look what happens when, can you see that? When you roll it off on black. See the greens and the blues and the purples coming through? That's kind of cool. All right. Let me see. Let's go ahead and take this. Oh, not that. And remember guys, this is just paint and paper. And I want to focus on the process and I enjoy the process and it usually relaxes me and I just have fun. It's time to start having fun, I think. can see a little bit of shimmer. Okay, I want to put, I think I want to have some of this turquoise flash. Gosh, words are hard. Let's see. I was really trying to figure out a way to incorporate my drawing into the monthly collab so i think i mean i know people that want to sit here and watch me color it in but i think i'm going to make another copy and then go over it with maybe a charcoal pencil or a something that i think will reprint on the jelly plate and then I think we'd be able to play with it a little bit more because all we managed to do, all I managed to do, I can still see the daffodils a little bit. I can see some of it. But I had a vision of this face being on here. And I may have to end up just drawing a face on here. 
or not a face, I'm sorry, a design. Okay, let's see what we have. Actually, it's not too bad. Can you see it? It does have a lot of shine to it. I like how it comes out looking more blue here. Okay. So, let me regroup. The last couple of videos, I've been getting distracted and all over the place. And I've never been diagnosed with ADHD. But that, if I had to put a name on it, that is what I would call it. So let's get back to Okay, what we could do is this is the monthly color collab colors. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and make some artist trading coins. Let's see how I do this. I'm trying to make it to where I can stamp out two at one time. Oh, come on, now it doesn't want to work. Finally. Okay, so what? Oh, ended up with some of the same, some of the same area. So I'm going to take some chipboard that I have over here, or I did have over here. This will work. I'm going to punch another circle out. And then I am going to glue these together to make it a little thicker than just this paper. And this is going to be an artist trading coin. And Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist is doing a swap. So I have a swap partner. And if she's watching this video, it may or may not be this one. You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> okay, so we're going to glue this on. This off of my... Let me move this out of the way. Okay, so now it's more like a card. It's thicker. Let me see if I can match this up a little bit better. Ah! There we go. I think we've got it. 
We ended up with a wrinkle. That was my fault. I was, didn't realize I was pushing it. So now we need to decorate this. So here's where it becomes a little tricky. I really like the way that it looks with just jelly, with just the jelly plate plant. But from what I'm seeing, everybody kind of decorates them. And they put different things on them. I haven't quite figured out my niche in this. Like a butterfly might look nice, but I don't really like the ones with all the white on it. So this, I just happen to have laying here. This wasn't my original plan to do artist trading coins. So if I was gonna use this, I would definitely cut off all of this white. I think it's just very distracting from the butterfly. I'm trying to keep his antenna, but I don't know if that's gonna work. It's just looking better already without that white stuff around it. Oh, okay. I'm just going to go ahead and draw them in. Okay, do we want a butterfly? And maybe a word? Oh, why not? So we can get one finished while we're on. Camera. And then I can feel like I was getting it done. that be enough? I think that's probably enough. I have some tissue paper here that I've really been wanting to use. Give this a little bit more texture and I don't really like the way that's shaping up. And then we're going to trim this up a little bit. Oh, 
I don't know why in the world I just put that up. Was anybody yelling at me? Because I still need it. Come on. Yeah, there you go. That's what we're doing. And the only thing I'm really trying to do here is make sure the whole word fits. And then I'll just take one of my little um, black fine liners and draw some antennae in there. Okay, beautiful. And I should have distressed those before I put them on there, but I got in too big of a rush. I don't know what it is when I get on this camera. Sometimes I rush things when I sh don't need to. How's that? Okay, there you go. One artist trading, trading coin is complete. And then I may make some more out of that same paper but here's what we have for now and it's the monthly color collab okay guys thanks for joining me if you made it this far i appreciate it thank you so much hope everybody's having a great week it's all downhill from here isn't that what they say on wednesday so have a great week guys talk to you later bye